Anya from Cooking with Plants and today I'm making crusty homemade bread with just a few ingredients and there's no need to knead your dough. Let's get started. For my loaf of bread I'm going to be using three cups of flour so it can be a combination of any flour that you like. I'm going to be using one cup of wholemeal flour and two cups of plain all-purpose flour. One teaspoon of Celtic sea salt the salt is optional, so you don't have to put it in. You can also add any herbs or spices that you like. One teaspoon of instant dried yeast. Mix the dry ingredients together well, making sure all the yeast is well incorporated. Next, add two cups of room temperature water, just plain water. And then gently stir through. Okay, this is almost mixed through. I'm just going to use the back of my spoon just to incorporate the rest of the flour. I should have done this from the start. It's usually much easier if you imagine the back of your spoon being like a dough hook. It's just going to pull all those ingredients together and not be as sticky. away from the edges a little bit. Next you want to cover this and let it sit in a warm draft free room for about or at least one hour and anywhere up to 12 hours depending on when you want to make your bread and I'm actually using a, a shower cap that I've never used as a shower cap to cover this or you could also cover it with a tea towel. I'll leave this in a warm dry spot now. Okay, so my dough has been rising for about two and a half hours and you can see it's all sticky and alive. It's showing that the yeast is doing its job and you can smell it as well. It just has a slight, almost an earthy sort of smell so you know it's ready to go. Okay, so we're just pulling the dough away from the edge, getting some of that air back out. And I've also got my oven preheating at 210 degrees Celsius or about 420 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, I'm just using a baking tray and I have some parchment paper on top of that too. And I'm just going to turn this dough out. Okay, so I'm just topping this with some oats. You can put whatever you want on top. You don't have to put anything if you just want to keep it plain. But I'm just doing a strip of oats in the middle of this. I'm just going to put a dusting of flour on top as well. So you could put sesame seeds, you could put poppy seeds, um, herbs. Herbs do tend to... Um, burn a little bit I find so I'll just keep it at this. So while my oven is coming to temperature I'm just going to leave this for about 20 minutes just to rise a little bit more again in a draft free warm area. I'm not going to bother with covering it up I'm just going to let it sit for about 15-20 minutes until the oven is hot. So this has been sitting about uh, 15 minutes and my oven is now temperature. I'll be cooking the bread for about 20 minutes now. I'll check how crispy and brown it is on the outside at that point and maybe cook it another 10 minutes or so. So usually I cook it between 20 and 30 minutes depending on the colour and how dark I want it on the day. Oh this is looking good. So this has been in for about 25 minutes, sounding good. So I'll just let that cool down for about 5 minutes and then it's ready to cut and eat. Okay. I'm just going to cut a slice of this bread off. Oh, look at that, it's looking good. So that just smells 
Fine. Nice hot fresh bread. Try a piece of this bread with some homemade cream cheese. Mmm. Yum. Warm and crusty. Fresh out of the oven. Bread doesn't get any better than that. Give this recipe a try. Give it a big thumbs up. It's delicious. Mm. Let me know what you think. Share it with your friends. And I will see you for the next recipe. Bye.